You know, there's a story that comes to us, it's been told in different forms, and in essence, I think it's true, even though its details sometimes yeah. have changed, about a man who was speeding, mm -hmm. and let's suppose he owed $100, and mm -hmm. he went to court, but he didn't have $100. He stood before the judge. The judge said, give me $100. The man says, I don't have it. The judge walked off the bench, took off his robe, stood by the defendant, took $100 out of his pocket, Before laid judge, it on yeah. the table, and then went back, put on his robe, stood behind the desk, and said to the man, you owe $100. Oh, I see. It's been paid. Thank you very much. You go free. That is the gospel. Jesus paid what we could not he paid it in our behalf. He left heaven as judge, where he is, of course, a member of the Trinity. He came here to pay our debt, and we can be declared as righteous as God as a free gift because it is credited to our account. So that this then brought Luther to freedom. Now, I have to continue the story because the question is this, was Luther saved? Was he ready for heaven back in the monastery when he confessed his sin regularly six hours at a time? The answer is no. It's because he didn't understand the gospel. As I emphasized, tomorrow was another day. Now, when he emphasized the gospel and understood the gospel and believed it, God gave him this gift, which was going to carry him all the way to eternity right. and bring him all the way to the Father, declared as perfect as God. Because he realized that Jesus not only paid for his past sins, but his present and his future. He paid it all, as the hymn says. Can you imagine the liberating power of that fact. It is liberating. Now, of course, we have to confess our sins to maintain fellowship. Yes. But as far as the legal relationship is concerned, that relationship continues. 24 hours a day, God demands perfection if we as Christians are to have fellowship with Him. 24 hours a day, Jesus Christ supplies what God demands. When Jesus died on the cross, he got what he didn't deserve, namely our sins. That's right. We get what we don't deserve, namely his gift of righteousness. So when Luther discovered this, it was very liberating and is liberating to all those who struggle with their sins. And we may be speaking today, John, to somebody who has really sinned terribly. You yes. may be a criminal. If the truth were known, what you did, you perhaps destroyed other people's lives as well as your own, and you're sitting there today and you're saying, what hope is there for me? And the same righteousness that Luther received and that uh, the Apostle Paul had and that we have received, who have received Christ as Savior, that righteousness can belong to you. If you are willing to recognize your utter sinfulness and trust in what Jesus Christ did for you alone. And that is the gospel. And we're ushered into God's presence uh, forever because we are in Christ. And I keep emphasizing this over and over again. No other teacher, no other guru, no other prophet can give you what Jesus can give you because he's the only one who has the credentials of being a savior. Right. And he came on a rescue mission to save us.